Both are so good. <clears throat> but yeah, we're checking out Grounded uh, for the first time. I haven't seen anything about it other than a little bit of uh, Itchy Buddy Steve playing. Distant Worlds. Distant Worlds is so good. <clears throat> I love Black Mages too, but I don't know if they play anymore. Rather, I don't know if they're allowed to play anymore. <clears throat> Jealous of it, that was so amazing. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I love live orchestras, and especially Distant Worlds. That'd be fantastic, but... I don't care, Xbox. Played my favorite, Genova. Genova's a good one. One of my favorites, um... Maybe I'm a lion, but that's just because I grew up with Final Fantasy VIII. And, um... Well, that's Black Mages, I guess. Um... What's their, what's the battle theme? Not Force Your Way, that's the boss theme. It is... Find, not Find Your Way, that's a different game. I don't remember. Jersey, hey, how's it going? We're gonna jump into this. New game. I don't know why there was a continue button. I have no save. Um, who do we want to be? Probably Willow. She seems like the least of nerds. <laughs> They're all kind of goofy looking. Moderate stress level, manage thirst, hunger, health, and stamina. Most punishing way to live, tiny life. Bugs are tougher, vitals are harder to keep filled. Everything breaks faster. Uh, nope, you lost me. You lost me on breaks faster. Philly Blunts, hey, how's it going? Um, I'm excited to see you as a multiplayer stream or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Multiplayer streams? We could do multiplayer. Does anybody have? I have to sign into like my Xbox um, thing, but we could see if uh, people want to jump in. Maybe we could do the, we could do a multiplayer uh, playthrough. I don't know how exactly the multiplayer works in this game. Or we could have a solo game and then a multiplayer game where we set up multiplayer later. What's the TLDR of this game? It is a survival crafting game, uh, from what I understand. Uh, basically, honey, I shrunk the kids, but you're in the backyard. Other than that, I have no idea. Oh, I gotta pick. I gotta pick a person. Hey, we'll do, we'll do Willow. Willow. Willow yeah, Branch. Oh, are they all gonna yeah, talk to me? That's my name. Okay. Oh, here we are. Yeah, but you know what I mean, Jersey. <laughs> Off-brand He-Man? Yoked Girth! I'm already into this game. Stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only Stranger connection things? between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, mm, please contact the police eggs. department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Pebble Village. Now to other news. In the business world, prominent practical technology signs a new deal. New movies where CGI will never replicate awesome special effects. Yeah, I, I also agree, Jersey. Agreed with your greed. <laughs> I mean, you just gotta look at, like, Lord of the Rings versus the newer Hobbit movies. Like, special effects are the CGI is fine, but it's not as good as the the actual guys in costumes.
Ooh, give me that quarter. So many comments on the films. <laughs> See your surroundings. Explore your surroundings. Cave nightmare. My favorite. Yeah. Well, what version is it? Endless cave, bottomless pit, and possibly claustrophobic passages. Ooh, I will say. Um there was a um arachnophobia slider in the settings and i have mine all the way down in that the Is spiders that are going to look like spiders i am also close. very afraid of spiders so we're going to see how this goes <laughs> just giving you a heads up if you don't like spiders i'm going to try to avoid them myself let's play your surroundings doesn't pick up huh Alrighty. Tutorial thoughts and prayers. Thank you. I was going to say tutorial trench. Uh, not so much. Nab. Plant fiber. All right. Conan it is. This is bad. Really bad. Time to wake up, Willow. Those aphids look like they have things to do and people to see. Signal detected. Whoa, and that's not an alarm clock. I should probably oh, just follow the, uh, Maybe I should the tutorial, huh? From. You know, for a little bit. Wake up. Totally waking up. Any second now. Use the resource analyzer. There must be someone in charge of this science experiment. But I haven't seen any signs of anyone else. Brain power. One, nightmare. Is that my brain power? Guessing. Analyze. Science. I love it. David slippers. Ooh. Are they like sneaky slippers? Oh, my brain power went up. Hell yeah. About to science the shit out of all this stuff. Oh, are you not gonna say science to me every time I do this? Lame. Can I research rocks? I can. I want that as a ringtone, yeah. Piplet spear, cute. Piplet axe. And now we have, oh, I thought it said 30. Um, okay, let's go find some more stuff to, uh, to analyze. Sprig? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's out of power. Look for more science equipment. All right. How do I craft things? There we go. Crude rope. Plant slurry. Um, I would like a spear, please. Oh, I need more sprigs. Okay. Done and done. Okay, there we go. Uh, what do I need for this? Three sprigs and a rope. Beat it, nosy. You can block while you have a weapon equipped. Time it right for a perfect block. All right, now we're talking. You thought we were done with Elden Ring.
ladybug or Asian beetle bug. I don't really know how to identify them. Something about like a mark on their back or something. Peeping makes me feel a little creepy. I don't know what I just, I fat fingered something. What was that? C? No. Oh, that brings up my crafting menu. Good to know. X. So I'm, oh, I, I see. It's like a zoom, but I don't have any binoculars. So she's just holding up her hands. <laughs> Is that what's going on? Stop being first person and third person at any time. Ooh. Uh, okay, chat. Do we want to be first person or third person? X. Slippers. Um, I need aphid meat and mite fuzz. A pair of slippers made from slippery aphid meat. Not very effective defensively, but it makes you run like the Dickens. This is a fun game. They had fun with this. Sap. Okay. S <laughs> oh, cool! We can make stuffed aphids for decor. Mm, I'm excited already. Uh, Asian beetles don't have an M near their head. Yeah, something like that. Which is either to control. Uh, give me Pikmin vibes. I only played and or finished Pikmin one though. Always wanted to play Pikmin. I just haven't. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I kind of like okay, third person because it increases my field of view a little more. Normal. Although for control wise, first person is probably easier. So it's like. You know, six of one. What's in here? Can I take this stuff? Is this this is just a whole lot of nothing, huh? That Nat's on a collision course with us. Come here. I want your body. Damn it. Oh, I do need a drink, though. Slurp nasty water. Maybe not. Hey, there we go. Nat fuzz. Oh, that's how we get fuzz. Raw nat meat. Okay, it's on ant. Um, I did see... It's like water droplets up there. How do I fix my inventory? Okay, here we go. The solitary ant. One of a hundred thousand mindless drones. No hopes, no dreams. Bound to the will of the colony. Weevil. We need to find another aphid so we can make those slippers. Oh, there you are. I wonder how durable this is. Is that the purple bar? Underneath? Okay, there's some more ant. I should probably set up a base kind of near to this, huh? At least to start with. Okay, it's back to back up. I see. Okay, so it's got three. Yeah. Brain power level one. That have death noises? Yeah, it's, it's, it seems like. Perfect block, third or first easier. Yeah. They pick. Uh. Net fuzz. Blitzel! Ooh, okay, next level 200, huh? And then. Net me. The recipe's deciphered none. 
now we're out of juice again. Um, we need to build like a fire. Can we do that? Or do I just eat raw meat? Probably don't eat raw meat, right? Greasy meat from a gnat. Eating it raw isn't a good idea, but its fatty cut suggests it will curse up nice over a flame. Deep color of wasps, uh, fresh fungi, promising a snack packed with umami punch, but don't eat it raw. Don't eat it raw. Bad idea to eat uncooked. Okay. Well, how do I... Ooh, a bow. Thanks. Hammer, axe, spiky sprig, which is a club, it looks like. So many crafting already. Roasting spit. Okay. So we need sprigs, and we need dry grass chunk. Uh, you look like a dry grass. Oh, okay. Can I punch this? At Interesting. Clean. Ish. Okay. Interesting. Dry grass chunk. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. Give me that. I needed uh, three of them. I think. Alright, what else? Uh, just sprigs. Alright, nice. We're learning. Come here, you. Where'd he go? Lost him. <laughs> They're fast. Did he, like, dive into a dirt pile or something? Sprig. There you are. Nice. Sprinting is probably eating through my food, huh? We shouldn't do that so much. Trail marker. Okay. Construct. Um, yeah, let's just make this right outside this research station for now. Super build. Uh, light. Do I need to put fuel in it at all or anything? Okay, so it takes time to cook. Looks like you can have three at a time. That one looks done. Roasted and delicious meat from a weevil slows and restores a large amount of hunger. Consume. Oh, it's pretty good. All right, cool. Ant. Okay, he's friendly. Ish. Do we have anything else to research? Yeah, we do. Plant lamp! Sap sconce. Plank pallet, stem pallet, torch. Torch is probably important, huh? Uh, we should probably grab these now, huh? I don't know if they burn or not. Okay. Block. Oh, I see there's a block meter. Alright, cool. Um. Well. Time to build a base. I don't know, I should probably get some tools first, though. Do these have a, uh, 
like a timer on them. I don't know why I'm grabbing stones, I just assume I'm gonna need them. I've played a survival game before. Eventually it probably gets dark when he inhabits, yeah. Grab these sprigs. Um, I should probably chop some plants down. Some regular grass and then analyze it, huh? Only, oh yeah, yeah, I, I sure can analyze it. Nice. Science. Windowed grass wall, workbench, table, walls, doors. That's what I'm talking about. Two of five. Investigate the mysterious machine. This? Didn't I investigate that already? Hi, red worker ant. Uh, oh, I see. G unload. So I probably need to make a hammer if I'm going to be building. That's how these things usually work. Ancillary. Thick paste of blended ant bits. Plant fiber. Craft many. Craft. Uh, requires. I don't have any plant fiber in my inventory. No, I have a. I have a ton. Oh, because I need a workbench. Okay, let's do hammer. So we need sprig. We need rope. Make the rope now. And for sprigs. I think we need sprays for building too, don't we? Hopefully these resources come back. <laughs> I hope we get anthill dungeons later. I mean, that makes sense, right? Okay, and then Nat Fuzz, Cured Rope. Okay, that's not so bad. Sap. I haven't figured out how to make, get Sap yet. Thistle Needle. I haven't figured out how to get Thistle Needle either. Uh, let's do... Okay. I have a second spear. Or is that my same one? I see it's pinned. This is on my, my bar in my hot pouch. Don't even think about it. You don't want none of this. We checked how Phantom does. I looked at it a bit. Uh, seems weird. <laughs> okay, just ants. Ants all over the place. That'll make some shelter. I bet some horrible insects will come around and eat me or something. I'm trying. Uh, wall, workbench. Do I need to build a workbench first? I need sap to do that. I don't have any of that. 
Left on which grass planks can be neatly stacked. I, I, can I just build walls right on the ground? Yes. Uh, is there a doorway? There's a door. I probably have to build a door in the wall, right? That kind of makes sense. Base blueprint. E. Okay. So turns. Got it. We're learning. And then. Build. Uh huh. I see. Inventory full. And if I go to my crafting menu and I do door. I need two ropes and I need a uh, weed stem. Weed stem, huh? Weed stem. You have nothing to lose. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, it's basically the forest, but a kid-friendly version. Uh, remains to be seen. I don't know. Is this a weed stem? Is that what it's pointing me towards? So it, it's, it's telling me what it looks like. Clover. Clover leaf. Okay. I didn't see a, like a weed stem pop from it or anything. Huh. Sprig. Ice caps mints. Fall in the water. Maybe something craftable? Yeah, good point. <laughs> Search recipes. Uh what is it? Weed. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to check to see how much fall damage was. Weed stem. Weed. Weed sturm. I don't. Uh, it doesn't look like it. If it if it is, I don't know the recipe for it yet.
Science. Storage basket, clover table, plant fiber. Okay, sounds good. Each step. It's probably. Is it this, maybe? These roots? It sounds like I'm hitting it. Survival. Build a lean to. Oh, B button for building. I see. Ah, all right. So we got a little, we have a little lean to. And we can do it right now. Build it. Super build it. Uh, use. Caution, you'll wake up in the dark. Set your respawn to your lean to. Did I use that? Set respawn point. I see. You can see your respawn point, as well as other discovered landmarks, on your map. Craft a torch! Should just follow the, uh... So I need sap for this. Dry grass chunk. I have a hard time saying that. We need two ropes. Here. I see. Okay. These here, huh? Consume. Let's do some research on it first. Okay, and sap is stuck in the grass up here, too. Uh. Yeah! No. I'd have to chop it down, then. I mean, this is probably what bottled water is. Is that a weevil? Is there fall damage? I'm not sure. I dropped down and didn't take fall damage, but I'm sure if I drop from far enough, there will be. Although, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty small, so maybe there's not fall damage. Oh, I see. It's probably green because I have enough to build the thing that I am wanting to build. Now my menu is all green. into this little water pool. Mm. I don't want to slurp the nasty water because it's making a point to call it nasty water. <laughs> so I'm going to try to avoid that. All right. I'm starting to be able to see a little bit. Armless James. Hey. Bigger they are, the harder they fall, as Grandma used to say. Makes sense to me. Menus are weird in this game. They auto-change color based on time of day. Ah, okay. Thanks for the heads up. 
Otherwise, I'd be super confused about that for a long time. <laughs> the menus do seem a little weird, though. Um, it's going to take some getting used to for sure. I hope there's a way to store water. Although we're doing good now. The leaf. So hard to see. Uh, oh, mushrooms. Don't mind if I do. Take the mushroom. Uh, you can eat consumable items in the menu. Ah, okay, so I can eat those raw? I can probably roast them too. I bet. You like building bases and occasionally defending them against huge, bloody insects. You'll love this. Well, I have played Conan, and that is sometimes Conan. There we go. Okay, so now we should have a bunch of sap. Yeah, we have nine of them. Why don't we research this stuff? Sleep through the night at your lean-tos. Well, it's like almost morning now, so let's not. Analyze the rope. I hope that never gets old, because I really enjoy it. Shovel? Eye patch. And a canteen. Uh... Haven't gotten to a purge in Conan yet, uh, but they're worse than grounded waves. Okay. Purges aren't so bad. Okay, no recipes, but increases my brain power. Obviously, the eye patch is an important recipe there. You know it. In fact, can I make it right now? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Brain power unlocks. Oh, see. That's why we can make all this stuff now. Looks like new weapons down here. We already know bow. Uh, it kind of looks like a chainsaw. <laughs> it's definitely not a chainsaw, though. Eye patch. Whether it's for an injury, strategy, or just plain fashion, the eye patch will do the job. Uh, we need fiber bandages, though. We can't make those yet. Or well, yeah, well, yeah, we can, because we just need sap for those. Uh, totally make the eye patch. But what good does it do me? Resistance, 0%. It does add to my defense, plus attack, minus damage resistance. Ooh. Okay. So, I don't know how the combat works quite yet, so let's not go straight into low defense. <laughs> uh, plus fuller light armor. Okay, yeah, let's... Uh... Oh, we, we need to craft our bench first. Let's do that. Bench, bench. Workbench. Grass planks, easy. And we can do that with the B menu. And I guess since we made this little thing, well, let's just uh, get that built. And throw our extras down here. Use workbench. All right, now, now we're doing something. Damage speed. Okay, uh, Spiky Sprig is incredibly slow, but it, there's stun and damage. Mm. Like that. Acorn Shovel. High, super high stun. 
Used to dig up grubs. Tasty. Still need that dry grass chunk. I gotta say that slow. Fuller light armor. Okay. So it looks like there's no downside to this stuff. Might. Oh, we need might fuzz. Let's see. Fuller light armor. Okay. So we just need rope. Need one rope. We need more clover leaves. So I need three ropes altogether. And let's go hack down another clover. Okay, it looks like this stuff is coming back, so that's good. Found some clover over here. Yeah. Can we not eat the clover leaves? So you can you can totally eat clovers in real life. Poncho and shin guards, which we used one of our ropes. Did I not make enough? I mean, obviously I didn't. All right, did it auto equip? No, it's not. Better safe than sorry. Nice. Okay. Plus fuller. I don't know exactly what that means. But I'm assuming it's a good thing. It seems like it's a good thing. And we got some defense now. Uh, we haven't taken a hit yet, so I have no idea how much damage things do. If I use this, sleep for eight hours. Wake at 8.47. Yeah, okay. Never mind, we will sleep then. I thought it was getting light out for some reason. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right, we slept in our lean to. We need dry. Here. Dry grass. Just the. Okay, in there. Let's get some more of that stuff going. This is a weird plant. What happens if I cut you down? Huh. Certain resources require higher tools to harvest, explore the world, and craft new things. Okay, so we need a better tool to get the thing to make a door. Sounds good. At least now I know. I just saw it splashing, so it's like, ha. Uh. <laughs> Something in your cough drop. Ever feeling okay? I'm still a little sick. I'm still getting over it. I took some cough medicine uh, earlier, so I'm waiting for that to kick in a little bit better. But a cough drop isn't a bad idea. It just doesn't go with coffee very much, you know? Not a good pairing of cough drop and coffee. All right, uh, fiber bandage. Why don't we make a couple of these? Because we're probably gonna need. Uh, grub hide. We can make a mushroom slurry. Grinder. Mm, I see. Shovel. Uh, acorn shell. We haven't found those yet. We'll have to kill gnats as soon as we see them, be, so we can make a bow eventually. <laughs> cough drop doesn't go with coffee. You know what you would think? <laughs> uh, let's make this torch. We need... Oh, 
if we make it in our workbench, it's like instant. That's good to know. Ooh. Uh, we'll keep the food. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, we're good. I saw this, and that's saying what kind of animal it came from. I thought it was like poisoned, like it went bad or something. We discovered fiber bandage. Science! Science! <clears throat> Need one more. One more analyzed somethings. Hey, Ant! Come here, I got a cool trick to show you. No, no, no. No, no, no. Damn it, Weevil! Oh, they're so fast. Oh, look at all this dry grass. Uh, look at that spider over there. Fuck that. I'm getting out of here. I should probably make a- well, I was gonna say, I should probably make a secondary weapon, but, um... I don't think I really need to, do I? Because, like, this hammer works. I bet this torch here? works well, too. Is that a bee? I think- I think I saw a bubble bee. A golem that rocks. <laughs> oh, Jersey. Uh, which pixel art software do you use for the work on your game? Um, I use Photoshop because I hate myself, and it's what I have. Um, but there's a really cool pixel art program called. Um, it's like. Gale Winds, or Gale Force, or Wind Gale, or something like that. It's free to download. It's made by um, some Japanese guy uh, who made it free to download, free to use. Um, and its specialty is pixel art. So if you want to learn a new program for doing pixel art, I would re recommend doing that because that's its whole thing. What was I doing? I went out to go. Oh yeah, the the uh, the ant to analyze, analyze, if you will. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry if I got a if I got a cough. I'll try to mute the mic when I do. Red ant. Uh, arm guards, knee guards, helmet. Ooh, the helmet looks kind of Japanese, speaking of. Normal chair. Red Ant Club. I'm interested in that club. New brain power. Excellent. Ooh, we learned arrow. Cool. That's what that was. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I'm saying I haven't done much in pixel art, but I was too, uh, just using Photoshop because a few years back, I was messing with it, Dan. Dithering gradient in sky, yeah. Same time you use Photoshop. You want to do complex dithering pixel by pixel manually. Yep, that's how I do it. Pixel by pixel manually. And it's terrible. That tree that you s that that's on my on my website uh is all hand drawn. 
and it took me way too many hours to do all those leaves because I layered them up from back to front. So I ended up uh, drawing over a more of my leaves that I <laughs> that I made. So there's probably an easier way to do that, but um, that's how it went. The tree is incredible. Thank you. I spent a lot of time on it, so I'm glad that it looks good. Thistle needle. Uh, red ant club. So we need a red ant part, which we have one. Red ant mandibles, which maybe harder ants or just a rare drop. Good damage, good stun, slow speed. That might be our weapon later on. Red ant helmet. It is It is a Japanese helmet. Kabucho. Kabucho is a helmet in Japanese. Crafting from a mix of red ant parts increases hauling capability. Ooh, you have my attention. Red ant head. Red ant part. Might fuzz. Okay, eventually. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want there. Nice. Slurry. Uh, we can do this stuff, but not really. Weed stem. A large sturdy building resource from felled dandelions and other stubborn growths like husky weeds. Ah. I am so thirsty. Oh. Oops. I'd eat this normally. That's good. Cause you gotta eat it now. Any water droplets? Water droplets are probably best to get in the morning, I bet. Because of dew. Drink or die. <laughs> if that's not a f if that's not a frat game drinking game, then I don't know what is. There we go. That's not so bad. All right, Dandelion, your days are numbered. Look. Guard is getting a huge update. Ten more inventory slots, upgrades to zip lines. Ooh, zip lines. Quality of life changes. Yeah. Uh, I assume there's going to be quality of life changes over the, the course of its lifetime because it's an open world game and open world games are extremely difficult to make. So as time goes on, they're going to refine some things. They're going to make some things better. Although so far, I'm pretty impressed with it. I like the systems in place already. All right, cool. So we got a hey, door now. Aunt. What's the news? Uh, do you know that I killed your friend earlier? Uh, if he does, he doesn't care. I can probably analyze this, can't I? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Triangle. Ooh. Scaffolding, sturdy door, stem wall. Mm. I'm into it. Nice. Oh, and your brain power doesn't uh, reset. It just keeps going up. Oh, cool. I didn't notice that before. Okay, not so bad then for the brain power stuff. I'm talking about with the uh, HE index painting technique. I do not know what you're talking about with the HE index painting technique. Um, yeah, why don't you post the link in Discord? Um, in the art tab. By the way, we have a Discord. Exclamation point D or exclamation point Discord. Or bang Discord. Bang D. Bang D sounds like something else, but you know, we're just we're just gonna roll with it. Come here. Oh man, they climb straight up. Okay. That's how he's getting away. Craft a fiber band. I already did that though. Need more sap.
Hello, powerless ant. Powerless ant? Why is he a powerless ant? Um, hmm. I could probably stun them with that hammer. I wonder what the damage is. I probably don't want to fight them when there's, like, a bunch of them, though. Probably a bad idea. Mysterious machine. Okay, so how do I investigate it? Is there anything to interact with here? Not really. Pro tip, aphids have, um, that have climbed have nowhere to go through your spear. You shouldn't arrow at them. Okay, I've explored this. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm tiny. I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. Wendell. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmechter, like all of prominent. I am here in the backyard. Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny. I should gather my thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. Wendell Tolley official log, 89.08.05. Recording as I take my first steps into the miniature world. The sights are unbelievable. The textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns in all of the objects that surround me, the grass. Even common lawn grass looks like a structure from an alien world. Wait, what's that sound? The very earth is trembling. Over there, what could it be? An ant! My God, today, the world has changed forever. Are you done? Yeah. What's the oh, best shit. thing that could happen? Looks like something is happening. Well, that was anticlimactic. Hmm. Like the other two lasers are too off. Okay. So, quest acquired. Oops. I think my most eaten resource is Weevil Roast. I, it makes sense. They're kind of dumb and don't really run away too much. That guy sounds like uh, Rick Moranis. <laughs> so this one I can just cut down, it looks like. So why don't we do that? All right. Good. This one isn't really contacting anything. So we probably have to go over there to that one. Not Canadian enough of an accent. Not that we have accents, y'all do. Okay, what I would love to do is, how do I actually equip things to my bar and not just, like, pin them? The pinning is cool. Uh, because then it's like, when you have it, it's gonna be always be there. A category. Wait a minute. Any weapon, a consumable item, any healing item, a ranged weapon, melee weapon. Oh, that's badass. Oh, my camera shut off. So then this one I can always assign, have assigned to a melee weapon. And this one I'll have always assigned to a light source. And this one, I'll have always assigned a healing item. Good honeydew. 
Shows a small amount of hunger and thirst. Harvest health over time. Okay, so probably can't use that like in a fight. Gotcha. Um, our hunger and water levels are okay, although it's getting darkish. Hey, we can go check out that that thing. Should we make more spears? I feel like I should probably have more spears. My inventory is kind of full too. Um, I can make storage, right? We learned that. How hard is that to do? Storage baskets. Oh, that's easy. We'll do that first. We'll unload. Uh, how about we go first thing in the morning? It's kind of getting dark. I don't want to run into a spider in the dark. That sounds like the worst time. Was it two or was it three? basket nice um mushrooms edible fungus okay now let's keep that variety of crafts we can throw this away Get this in here uh, we probably want to keep this stuff on us we haven't really oh I see there's a timer I should go pick that stuff then. I was gonna save that for um, those slippers. So you need, but you need a bunch of mite fuzz. The quickness. <laughs> the Avid slippers are probably super good. Um, so if that had a timer, does this stuff have a timer? I don't see a timer on it, so like once it's cooked, it's fine. So why don't we put our mushrooms in here, since it's only a small amount. We'll keep our- oh, I see, this is- this is- oh, I, I okay, I see on the bottom now. I see, I see. I mean, that's probably good enough. These sprigs in here. We'll grab some on the way if we need to. Uh, why don't we eat this then? That tastes surprisingly not terrible. Okay, and then we should be able to just sleep. Can I sleep twice in a row? Oh, we're too awake. So no. The answer is no. Um. So while we wait, why don't we just give me a second to let my building. eyes adjust to that. Um, is there, like, a ladder I can build? Triangle scaffolding. I don't see, like, staircases or anything. Half walls, that's cool. Okay, 
Okay, doesn't look like we get stairs. At all. Um, so I made this place too small. I don't see, like, floors or roofs that you can make either. Um, this looks like a shelf. I don't know what this is for. Triangle wall. Oh, let's see, okay. Hmm. Alright, I just I just saw. So there are with F. Uh oh, okay. You just need wheat stems for that stuff. That's not bad. Definitely uh harder than just regular grass, but probably way more sturdy. have anything I can analyze, right? Looks like no. Alright, what's some stuff that I can explore up here? Uh, why don't we just head this way? Uh, oh, you know what? We can do a bunch of crafting. Why don't we figure out our canteen? Uh, we need grub hides, which means we need a shovel to dig for grubs. Which means we need an acorn. Shell. I'm gonna make spooky noises. I don't know how much I care for that. There is a crouch, so there's probably a sneaking mechanic. Are you an ant? Yeah, you're an ant. What the fuck was that? Lawn mite? Ooh, that scared me. Now, we need mite fuzz for a bunch of stuff. I see some electricity happening. Damn it. Ooh. I do not like that they jump out of the darkness at you. God damn. Plays at Dark Souls and Elder Rings gets here by Cartoon Ant. Yeah! Cartoon Mites. Don't blame me, though. Nothing about Dark Souls or Elden Ring is scary. Disturbing, maybe, but not scary. Oh, really? Those mites are so annoying. I agree. Okay. Mites all around this thing. Oh, I, I see. We made it to the base of this thing on accident. Well, it says we're here. Okay, so, sneak attack. Um, do I climb this? It looks pretty zappy. I don't know if it's such a great idea. Don't mind if I do. Okay, it's fine. Dark Souls, uh, dark and disturbing is different than jump scares. Yeah, agreed. Even Bloodborne. Like, Bloodborne is, I mean, you want to talk disturbing. 
There's some disturbing things in Bloodborne, but uh, it's not scary. There are a couple of jump scares in Bloodborne, though, particularly with the werewolves. Um, I'm getting a little thirsty. Is there a water droplet? Water, water nodule? There's some. Uh, oh, it's, ah, damn it. <laughs> well, shit. Ooh, there's a big one. There are different sizes. Good to know. I should probably watch where I'm going. Looking up is a perfect way to get ambushed. At least it's clean. Ish. Water droplet? Yeah. Alright, uh, down into the abyss. Do we have enough materials to make a second torch? I just need a rope. Let's do that quick. green stuff. Okay, so if they're not paying attention, it looks like you get uh, some sort of damage buff. Slime mold? I should not be touching that with my bare hands. But, uh... Fuck it. Put it in my pocket. What's the worst that could happen? Bust. was a Resident Evil game. <laughs> well, now you know. I hope these rocks are useful later. They gotta be. I also like that your inventory doesn't have a weight, it's just based off of slots. Fuck. R. Seems like something's digging around underneath us. Um... Do you really want to keep going then? Oh, here it is. Oh, these are the grubs. Scabby, additional flavor scheme available. Might Rider. Scabby schemes allow you to change your interface to new visual flavors. You can choose unique ones to use for both daytime or nighttime in the OS tab. Sturdy marble, huh? Light. Burn back the shadows and turn away the inky depths of the night. Okay. So once we get a better hammer, we can come back here and get some marble, which will be useful for later. Also, this quartzite. My little stone hammer ain't good enough. It's not cutting it. I already crafted a fiber bandage, though. Why do you want me to have so many bandages? I don't have the sap to make it. Investigate the machine further. Okay. 
I mean, I can't go any further down. There's no other routes, right? This is it. Glowing mold found underground can probably be used as a light source. Ah, cool. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of nothing. I see this wire keeps going down, but, um... I, I, I'm not really sure what to do with that. Is there a way I can repair? They're just worried about you, yeah. Stand directly onto the copper. Perfect. So I, I'm pretty sure I found the thing they wanted me to find, which was the scabby. Not really sure what that did or does. Okay, it looks like uh, we have repaired this thing enough until, you know, the mites keep chewing on it. I hear you, mite. Where are you, though? You just gotta ask it. Reveal. We could go investigate the machine, or we can go back and scan stuff. Keep that nose to yourself. Yeah, you little shit. Can't wait to get a better weapon. I can't wait to get better, better. We can just stop it better. Mm. That's not so bad. Alrighty. Did okay. We did burn through one of our torches, so glad that I made a second one. Uh, let's scan. Yeah, we got Mite Fuzz. Ooh, we can do stuff with that. Mite Hat. Fuzz on the rocks. It's <laughs> great. Uh, Raw Weevil Meat. Slime Mold Sconce, Slime Mold Torch. Stuffed Weevil. Weevil Shield? Easier to block and parry? Need Nat Fuzz for the bow. Uh, raw, we need four Weevil Meat, uh, two Grub Hides. Hides yet, or a way to get them, because I need an acorn shell. Unless there's a place to just find them. I haven't found thistle needles yet either. Might hat. Um, hyper stamina. Increases stamina efficiency. That's cool. Medium armor, too. That's neato. Uh, also need grub hide for that. And then the other thing was the shoes, right? Yeah. White fuzz for shoes. So we really need an acorn shell. So we can make a shovel, so we can dig for grubs to get our next sort of, uh, crafting material. Is there a quick way to queue? One at a time. Deposit stack. Much better.
this stuff on me. Let's keep the on this. This is fine. Alright, so I don't really want to go to sleep because it's like four o'clock, so it's gonna be getting uh light here soonish. So why don't we just head over? Uh, I should probably drink this dew while it's here, huh? So otherwise it's gonna disappear or dry up during the daytime. I'm not exactly sure how that works yet. I mean, this is probably what bottled water is. Good enough. All right, so now the machine is on. Okay, so weevils are gonna be pretty easy to find. Uh, target. Or, or not activate. Enough juice. That was more dramatic than I expected. Agreed. That ladybug seems so much less graceful up close. Are you dangerous? Do you care about me? Hey. No? Um why do you have a boss health bar? <laughs> Probably nothing to worry about. Investigate the oak tree explosion. I would really rather not give him the option. Because we saw a spider over there. I would like to get better weapons. Before we do that, instead of just old spear. Even the the spiky uh, club thing. Hmm. Where is this? Going out to the edges? Out to the edges is probably a bad idea, huh? What are you? Oh, it's sap. The sap on the end looked like a thing. I mean, it was, but... Alright, I see something over there. Why don't we go sneak over that? That's not so bad. an eye out for things that want to eat me. I found making the shield to be so helpful. Uh, shields in the ground area are so essential. Conan, yeah. Uh, yep, there's a spider. So it was just a mushroom. Now back, back up. Leave him alone. Mushroom spores are basically like emergency food. I, I don't know how much it restores, actually. Um, maybe it's just regular food that stacks well. Who knows? Grass planks. 
Yeah, I just need to find an acorn, which is probably next to the tree now that I'm thinking about it. Um, which is where it's trying to, like, pull me to. So I guess, why don't we go take a look at the oak tree. Get attacked by a spider. Like, that's what they're trying to introduce me to, right? Grab this sap while we see it. I'm still going the right way, right? No. I mean, it looks like that's where the tree is. Spawn point, field station. Oh, there's like a lot more map, I see. Is this the oak tree then? Is that where I need to go? I mean, I see there's like a tree over there. Can I climb up and somewhere and see better? Sort of. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's an oak tree. That must be where I have to go. Juice box. Tropical. Trop Tropic Cop Poncho. What is that? It's not a water droplet. Juice drop. Slurp it. Refrigerate before opening? Set. How do I get up there? Do I need to build a structure? Can I climb the grass somehow? what we can find. I mean, it looks like a power-up. I need to get a bow. Alright, well, we found it. We can come back to it. That's gonna be a lot of this game. That's a lot of survival games in general. It's just... Snail? Or just shell? Uh, can I break its shell open for lime? See, you don't want to be disturbed. I'll just leave you alone. So when all the grass starts to get dead, is that like your... Watch out, bad things are about to happen to you. Is that another juice droplet? And so far, so okay. I don't see anything... scurry. Oh, these are the grubs. Okay, so you actually have to find them digging around so that you can dig them up. Makes sense.
Um, the fuck was that? Bug knowledge. Keep a creature. <gasps> Excuse me. Excuse me. You don't. You don't see me. Where's it going? Got a new one here. Creeper. Can I do that with all of them? Keeping new bugs in the yard unlocks creature cards to reveal weaknesses and resistances. This can be found in your data tab. Okay, let's back off and read. Garden spiders. So cool and terrifying. Yep. Uh, data? I see. Bright yellow and black arachnids that hunt in the areas across the yard. You know, like orb weavers do. You can drop spider trunk and web fiber on death. Weakness. Spicy? Resistances. Stabbing. Fresh. Weakness is spicy. They don't like spicy things. Uh, should I rub a hot pepper over my over my body then, or? All stuff, stuff. Cutting edge biomonitoring scanner bracelet system and a familiar wristwatch form factor. Uh, the device appears to also send and receive FM radio signals. Okay. Shortcuts to the menu are found in the pause of death screens. Okay, places. Well, how dangerous is it? Axe is slower, but does more damage. Held in the weak hand. Take, take my strong hand. Cowboy candy. Yeah, there it is. Um, you'll do a type of damage to it. You'll find resources like I don't know a piece of hot Cheeto. That'll make a weapon deal spicy. Ah. Uh, you find. Oh, that's what the mints are for. I see. Okay. So you like do that then. Uh, how do I see what kind of damage type it does? Chopping. Okay. Stabby, chopping, busting. Got you. Asked and answered. So it's resistant to that. So we'll want to do some chop. Um... I would love to find an acorn first so we can dig up some grub so I can make a shield before I just run in and start attacking monsters. But, um, I don't know if the game's gonna let me do that. Oh, we can peep these Taking things, can we? Location marked. Weep. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Can I undo that? Yeah, undo this. There. Old Ant Hill. These are just pebbles. Oak tree has acorns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I see a web up there. The spider probably wouldn't come around the anthill, would it? Oh, you're nearly there, yeah. So this is probably a dungeon, if I had to guess. What did you say about anthill dungeons, Nina? <laughs> Okay, I see you.
Yeah, don't try to backseat me too hard. Although I do appreciate some things where I'm like, I'm not gonna go in like totally blind. Although, um, Jersey, I think I decided that after this game, uh, unless something goes on sale, I'm gonna play Tunic. Um, and when I start playing Tunic, I would appreciate if there were no spoilers at all. Um, by Jersey's request. Alright, so now we got some stuff. Yeah, I don't want to tell too much. Yeah. Yeah, you're 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 good so far. Just um for other people, just try not to overdo it too much. Like survival games are are good. I don't want to get like frustrated looking for whatever thing. I'm surprised that the spiders don't take extra damage from like bludgeoning. Kinda makes sense with their exoskeleton, wouldn't it? Such a reminder, don't mean anything by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Nana knows what's up. This looks like a big tunnel. But why? I don't really want to go in there. <laughs> Although the mites are going in. So you would think that if there were spiders around, there wouldn't be like other creatures. I don't know how accurate that is. Uh, let's see. Can I make a shovel out of my inventory or do I need to make it at the uh, workbench? Nope, looks like I can make it right here. We can dig up grubs now. Did I, like, fail at making the rope the first time? Oh, I crafted two of them. Whoops! <clears throat> okay, and the shovel does a ton of stun. And just slow as hell. Okay, we got an ant. Oh, it's like a little hand shovel, I see. Uh, spade. I wonder if there are even two-handed things. Hi. Yeah, you, you're friendly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Nice. I want to redo our hot bar here. Uh, okay, so we have grub hide. Is that total? Yeah, we have two total. All right, we're gonna have to go back soon. Um, throw some things out of it if we need to. Also. Inventory full. What do we have lurking around out here? Uh, rock rub meat. That's fine. Rub sludge. That sounds like an energy drink. Or like, uh, like bug juice. Nasty. So, what did we need to craft that, um, shield? Okay, we have it. We just need weevil meat now and rope. Okay, so let's head back. Um, I don't know exactly what it wants me to do with the oak tree, other than investigate explosion. I don't know exactly what that means. But I would love to have a shield. Uh, what's moving those over there? What is that? Oh, I can peek. Let's see what we can find. Peek the new one. Ladybug. Let's see. Mark 
the spot. I'd prefer if you didn't. I love the PV animation. Yeah, just pull his eyes. <laughs> I got this skin, you can tell me. No, not armless James. We're not gonna do that. No need to get rude. Um, unless people are being rude back, in which case, you know, our mod will destroy them. But, uh. At least it's clean. Ish. It's good for me, too, because I have a bit of a temper. Uh, so. I try to cultivate <laughs> more laid back, easy, fun to watch things. You know, I don't want to get too worked up on about something or anything like that. Hey, no one likes a nosy neighbor. <laughs> Jersey, you're not allowed to ban yourself. It's against the rules. David Honeydew. Um, oh, okay. This game is probably super fun with uh, multiple people, isn't it? Yeah. Does anybody know if it's if it's easy to like join into people's games or anything? Because if we decide to switch over to multiplayer, that that could be pretty fun. In this definitely not opposed to doing that. Oops. Should probably eat those before they're bad. Um, we're gonna need to make more storage. I have two torches that are half burnt. Good. I don't know why we decided to do that. Can I combine these somehow? Actions. Uh, trash one, trash stack. Doesn't look like it. sap away. We'll grab things out as we need them. Uh, grub meat can get cooked. Let's throw it in there for now. It's fine. We do have some raw weevil meat, so we need four weevil meats. And... What else? Rope. Three. Okay, so we need three more. Two ropes. I'll make the rope now. So that... Never mind, I don't have the plant fiber for it. And then Weevil Genocide coming up. I'll have to find a good place for uh, for a base. This is like okay, but there's no grubs, and it seems like grub stuff is like very important. <laughs> I'm boring and probably have nothing for it. Oh, yeah. Gonna make another rope. Okay. 
I don't mind the axe. Axe, axe feels good. Um, so the spears are my ranged weapon. And the axe is going to be my new melee. Seems like. Makes sense. Historically, axes are a very good weapon. Alright, that should be it. Although I bet the spears have a better range, don't they? Let's see. Uh, maybe not. Nope, doesn't look like it. Use workbench. Uh, how do I equip you? Plus block strength. Hopefully this shield will defend you better than the weevil it came from. It's <laughs> great. Do I need to... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I switch to this now... We can't use this right now. my bar down here let's uh resort this so let's go shovel next to axe axe is gonna go into new spot here so that goes there our spears will go into the second pouch third for shovel uh then we'll go she want to switch these If I, if I need my shield, I'm going to need it quick. Um, then our hammer. It's going to be reserved for food. Let's go actually bandages and then food. There we go. Putting those close together actually is probably a better idea. Why don't we do that instead? That. Spears of Okay. Now I feel more comfortable. Linguistically inclined in the sense. How do things touch? Is there a better weapon I can make? Um, we need Ganat Fuzz to make our bow. Um, and I don't know where to get thistles yet. Slime Mold Torch, we haven't tried yet. Two in range. Oh, you can make things out of your storage boxes? This is probably the best survival crafting game I've ever played. What is that terrible noise? Also, what time is it? 18.27? Okay. We got some time yet. I probably want to go to bed at 22. That'd be 10. Um, let's go look for some grubs. I know there are definitely some in that cave where the mites were. So why don't we run back over there? It seems pretty safe to go that way. No spiders creeping around or anything. I assume spiders are the biggest threat in this game. Um, if I'm thinking about... Uh, Just give me a second to let my eyes adjust to that. Dangerous bugs. Um, depending on where we are, we could also have to deal with scorpions. Firefly. Did it make a horse noise? What is that terrible noise? Oh, it's you. Let's see what we can find. A new one found. Yeah, that is a firefly. Do those become mounts later? I hope we can get those later. I mean, this is probably what bottled water is. 
Huh. It's pretty good. What's this stuff? Um, impossible to break is what it is. Never mind, I guess. Oh, it's a little, sp little sproutly. Let's see. Scrabble right. along, comrade. Oof. Very Thumbelina, yeah. Grublets. This game is cool. I agree. This game is super cool. It's so not like fantasy, but it feels very fantasy. And I like it. Uh, okay. How do I get home? Go that way. My fibers. Those things go by, by so fast. Okay, got some bigger rocks around here. stuff because why not we are full on food and water right now um it's probably bedtime 20 getting there we can make our canteen which we should go fill i don't know if i need to make it in my workbench but i'm just gonna assume I need to. uh we need ropes we can hot craft this stuff though Canteen crafted. Fuzz on the rocks. Uh, as literal as they come, drinking this disgusting combination is somehow makes you healthier for a while. It increases max health. Ah. We need clay for this, though. Pebbles, which we have epic fuck ton of. Um, I'll need to organize these boxes at some point. Slap this stuff. Um, cook this one. Actually, uh, there's probably a bunch of stuff that I can, uh, research that I have been neglecting. Science. Acorn stuff. Nice. Storage chest. Water container. Grinder. That was a good one. Uh, what about... Grub sludge. That seems like you can do stuff with this. Grub vest. Smoothie station. Yum yum. Nice level three. Grub leggings. Grub goggles. Doesn't tell me what exactly that does though. Grub hide. Acorn bits. Acorn. What can you do with an acorn top? Make a better shield? That makes sense to me. Sap catcher, spinning wheel, acorn fence, garden patch. Man, I'm gonna get lost in this game, I can already tell. 
Uh, Alright, I'm out of juice. 2207 is our next one, which is where we want to stay up to anyway. So... Let's see what we can do in our little work shed here. What do the goggles do? Max stamina, medium armor. Stylish goggles crafted from smooth grub hide strips. Increases the maximum stamina with aerodynamics. Makes sense to me. Uh, major threat heavy armor. A spooky mask made from acorn with which insects find delicious. Gotcha. High defense rating. Um, this compared to our stuff... It, oh, that's why we haven't really been getting hungry, because we have this this uh, food f uh, armor on. Gotcha. Max stamina is probably a good idea. Increases stamina efficiency. That's probably even better, to be honest. Uh, and we can make that pretty easily. So I would build that over the grub goggles. And then this red ant stuff. We can start trying to farm for this red ant gear. Jesus. We need acid glands. Some hauling strength. Actually, I don't know what hauling strength means. It probably gives you extra slots to carry stuff, right? That makes sense. This is light armor. This is medium. Um, we should probably get up to some medium armor, huh? Medium armor is usually where I like to sit. We can make the grub stuff. Garden patch. Small garden... Uh, a small patch of dirt that can be used to grow various things. Okay. Spoiled meat. Grub sludge. Provide various side effects. Buffs. Cool. Water container, a hollow acorn that can store up to six drops of liquid. Hmm, cool. Uh, and that's pretty easy to make as well. Lean to spinning wheel. Strong and luxurious threads. Okay. Sap catcher. Attach this to a sap producing roots branches for more convenient harvesting. Break some various uh, things down into different things. Thank you. Very, uh, very descriptive, that one. Well made chest stores 40 items. Mm, okay. Twice as good. We need to scout for a good base location so we can start really building stuff. Mountable frame. This is just for decor. Is all this stuff just decor? Common decoration. Defense. In case it's like getting attacked or something. Sap sconce. Slime mold. Stock. Don't I have a bunch of these? Did they rot out? No, they're right there. Why don't we... Take a stack of these out. Uh, why don't we make some of these? How bright is this gonna be? Um, I see that I can, like, hot build it, but I don't know... How to activate that. Okay, it's not bad. Um, if we were to build these out here.
Okay, so they don't give out like a ton of light, but yeah, they're not bad, I guess. Gee, customize. Oh. Ooh. That's awesome. I'm into it. Uh, canteen. Put some of this stuff away, but canteen. A uh, pouch made from grub hide that can be used to carry two scoops of liquid to transfer to storage or slurp. And we can also beat things to death with it. Why don't we do this? Here. Scoop! And scoop. Nice. So now we can, we can make that uh, water catcher and we can transfer this. I was wondering how we were going to do that. Um, and this is how. Doing this at night is probably the best idea because you have all these dew droplets. At least it's clean. Ish. Is this ready to go yet? Yeah, it is. Cool. And then we should probably sleep. Right, cool. Nothing. And then acorn bits. Uh, food. Boost juice. Sounds good. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep for eight hours. I waited too long. Now I'm gonna miss out on some daylight. Look at all that daylight I missed out on. Probably just should have stayed up. It's fine. Uh, okay, that rotted out of our inventory. Which is a okay with me. Um, I should probably make a porch out of the. Out of this, uh, this here, this here thinger. Slime wall torch. Still getting used to the buttons. Yeah, okay. Should be able to light your way for a short time. I wonder which one is better, or if there is a better. These, that's fine. That tastes surprisingly not terrible. I wonder if she's gonna make a comment every time she eats bug. Uh, uh okay. So now that we have some of this stuff, why don't we go do some investigating? Try not to die. Try being that keyword. Uh, how do I split this stack? Keep. Keep two on us, it's fine. those in there and I think we're good but hit some water on the way uh, oh also we learned stuff ladybug uh, weakness busting and fresh resistance is stabbing salty spicy Weak points, legs. Trundles through areas, oak kill. Hello, power Snacks. Ant. Can drop ladybug head and ladybug part on death. Uh, hovers and grazes near flood zones at night. 
and sleeps in the flower bed during the day. Can drop glow goo and iridescent scale on death. Weaknesses, stabbing, resistance to spicy. Gotcha. Uh, we also need to spy some more stuff here. Why don't we try to just get all this? Let's see what we can find. Keep the new one. That. Um, back. It's too fast for me. At least it's better than the gross slurpy noises from Subnautica, yeah. Yeah, Subnautica gets real slurpy. And Below Zero is even worse. That. Spied on you guys. I like that it with a human voice it goes when it dies. <laughs> okay, I can almost make a bow. Can't make arrows. I can almost make a bow. Hey, come come down here. I haven't tried to throw anything, so I shouldn't. Alright, anyway, uh, Oak Tree. I think it was around the side to this side that the explosion went to. Juice box right there. Uh, I haven't figured out how to climb it yet. Maybe we'll make climbing. No juice, though. Oh no, here it is. Below Zero's main character makes me super uncomfortable. Yeah. She talks way too much and she's just so damn slurpy. I liked Subnautica 1, Silent Protagonist. Um, although this character talking that I'm playing right now is not so bad. Okay, spider. Should I go just, like, attack the spider? Probably a bad idea. A lot of grubs around here, though. It's nice. We get that grub armor made in no time. They always say it's not lemon crime. Bloody annoying. It's not lemon crime? I don't get it. And I don't want to go attack that spider, but I really should wait until I get a better weapon. Maybe some better armor, like medium armor. That'd be an idea. Keep it on the move. Okay, the axe can one-shot it. It's good to know. Uh, here's our ant hill. Should also try to destroy some ants for the carry capacity. That'd be good for moving day. We got some some ant armor. Up stuff we saw earlier. Apparently, Lemon Crime uh, is a soda universe or something. Let's see, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 ah. Ooh, ah. Okay. Are they dead?
Nope, they're definitely moving. Heckin' spiders. Are those damn wolf spiders? Wolf spiders make... Go kill one. I'll pass. Thanks. <laughs> wolf spiders make more sense that they would be, like, wandering around. Keep it! Oh, good idea! Nienna. So smart. This is why we keep you around. Taking a look around. Got a new one here. It is indeed a wolf spider. Wolf spiders are fucking disgusting. And they're so aggressive. <clears throat> okay, I see the purple flames now. That's my cue to go to look over there. I did see there was some stuff in that wolf spider den that like that stuff right there. Like hardened sap or something oh like this right here okay let's go look at this right here sap cloak light burn back the shadows and turn away the inky depths of the night okay yeah you've said that before you don't need to say it every time i promise what is this sap oh it's just sap it just breaks into sap okay i thought it was going to be like another it's like crystallized sap. Uh, ooh, or juice box. And a soda can. Flavor drink. Looks like there's something underneath of that. Can you make an acorn hat? I want an acorn hat. You can make an acorn helmet, which is uh, like a heavy. There's a rose bush there. Oh, a little pond. Playfish? Maybe frogs? My inventory will go back. Okay, eh, it's getting filled up pretty quick. So why don't we just focus on the task at hand here before we just start collecting things that we don't necessarily need. 28 of 30 slots. Oh, it tells me right there. Oh shit, isn't that convenient? Yeah, as long as those wolf spiders stay in their little, their little den there, I'm okay with that. Bigger mushrooms. I see some stuff moving over there, so that's a bigger bug. Pushing things aside. Acorn helmet doesn't exist, can't confirm. Not very hatty, though. Yeah, it's more of like a face mask. The character always says something about vampires when I equip this torch. Maybe it depends on what character you have. Okay. I saw the entrance. I'm just looking Look around. Oh, hi! Spider. Hi! It looks like uh, oh, oh, boy. You can't come in here. Oh, they shoot webs. That's why they're more believers. You can't come in here. Stupid. <sighs> uh, that spider coming at me had some pucker factor. Don't you want to hang out by the door where I can, like, beat you to death out of your reach? Doesn't that sound like a fun time? Mr. Orb Weaver? No? Okay, guess I'll move on then. This looks like nerd. So that cut off, so it sounded like she said, this looks like nerd shit. <laughs> Which, not wrong. Ooh, an analyzer. Oh, we've already analyzed everything. Raw science. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Virgil, Let's just throw some science words up here. Bring for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. 
And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SMPI 42Z particle to Raw Science. Order received. Raw Science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or goo 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 grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. Unpowered. Okay. Battery backup failure. Oak Lab. Mmm. Okay. Oh, the sap. Mind if I do? Scanner, unauthorized access. Uh, Ambigan Test 45. Category non organics. Retest notes. After successful miniaturization of a single complex electronic device, Test 44, Test 45 will attempt to shrink one full box of the devices. Upon embiggening, Subjects will be inspected and tested to ensure proper functionality. Results, failure. Miniaturization successful, but in beginning and further testing isn't possible at the moment. Subject was confiscated by a curious honeybee. Recovery unlikely. Box obliterated. Miniature scabi are certainly stuck in every nook and cranny of the yard. Damn you, curious honeybee. Thwarting my plans. Help burgle. Take a deep breath. He's got a spatula hand. He's the hatchling slasher. Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -b 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. Don't burgle my things. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. No, nah, I'm good. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Convenient. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Where am I? You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Who is Dr. Dr. Wendell Tadelli? Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. Can we put a pulse meter on you? That'd be fun. He yeah. is also my creator. <laughs> my initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. That would be fun. I have no idea how you would do that, though. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Up, 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 Burkle. Ch -ch -ch Chia? Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he I hope he there's went. Chia pets here. It must be my and you can, like, harvest a ton banks. of, like, plant fibers from them. That'd be great. How come I can't remember anything? You and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. Sure. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform. Patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully, your memory will return in time. How do I get home? To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Oh. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. Uh -huh. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. 
Wouldn't want it to be too easy now, would we? I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Can I fix the spacer? Ha <laughs> ha! That is a great idea! Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! It reminds me of, um... The robot from Borderlands. But I don't remember the name. Of. Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Arg. I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Memory chips? Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. Mm -hmm. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Also convenient. Super chips are special, and they are gold! They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be I on see. a super chip. So you have the, the, the fun chips where you get to learn things, and you have the boring chips which just progress the story. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Uh, are there other labs? Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code 632 cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks, too! But we are in luck! I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. What's the Hedge Lab? The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard, and used for research on arachnid webbing. Oh. Are you sure? You will find the Hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the Hedge. Sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> that reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with Cheese biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Sounds good. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL Network of Computers 2. American Sign Language? ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. <laughs> That's pretty funny. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Do you think the thing on his, coming out of his face is like a mustache? It looks like a mustache. Log on to the ASL terminal. It definitely won't sell your info or anything. Yeah. Is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ships and try not to die out there. Well, tell me what to do. Have an exponentially great day. What did I just say? All right, quest giver acquired. Science. Scientists make this look harder than it is. Yes, scientists. Hoarding all your raw science to yourselves. Science. One success after another! I have returned Burgle to his original size! It appears that my new raw science containment field is working at 99% effectiveness. Far. 98.5%! Right, Burgle, right. However, as Burgle indicates, there is some minor insignificant raw science leakage. A note for another time. Noted! But I see no reason to put off a human trial. I believe there should be no issues, but yeah. al dentes fortuna yuat. I am ready to prove my creation's full potential. End recording. Burgle, 
I'd like to record some messages for my family in case things do not go as planned. Um, do I need this grub meat? I don't think I do. Although letting it rot is probably a smart idea if I'm going to do some planting. Uh, ASL terminal offline. I'm just scanner hold to use. Grow science isn't the problem, it's the grilled science that's tough. Retrieve a super chip for Burgle. Science shop, Burgle quests, available three. Kill Aphid, easy. Um. Wait, uh, why did I just accept that? I didn't want to... Great Oak Beacon is one many lost sites in the land. Legend says only ghosts of trail markers are left behind by doomed explorers remain. Raise the bones of the structures to reveal them to the realm. Great Oak Beacon. All right, cool. Kill Nat. Sure, we'll just pick one. It's fine. Are, are there any like number of quests that I like can't keep? So I have this much. Twenty-five forty. Smithing station. Workstation needs to upgrade weapons. Yep. Cooking 101. Sure, I'll just get the recommended stuff, that's fine. Uh. Meat shield! Burl deciphers secret meat knowledge from the chip and gives you the old razzle dazzle with his clamp and spatula combo. The tenderizing works you out on a molecular level and unlocks a new mutation that increases max health. Torch upgrade. Uh, Performing diagnostic. Multi-story bases. Yes. Yes. Oh man, when we get into base building, you guys are in for a in for a ride. Okay. Uh, sure. There's so much stuff to explore around here. Oh, this is the other. Is this the other side? Also, what's what's that noise? It's traveling around. I hear you. Like a spider. The blue spider. It looks almost like I can get over to that, but, uh, maybe not. Alright, so we, ma we made the full loop, it looks like. Can I jump into this? No. Oh. Off you go. Anything to analyze? Nope. Not even the granola bar? This is like half the reason I picked it up. Does it go bad? Oh, it sure doesn't. Your scanner, hold to use. Oh, maybe this is, that was a different uh, area. Okay, let's see. Nimble quick. Batteries. Let's see. Five hundred. A lot easier than lab. Lab modules. This morning I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Ah, 
odd that Ominent has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Ominous uh -huh. shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. Google Transcription Unit, 87.9.5, order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Burgle, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g -g grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. Is this the anthill? Brittle quartzite, brittle marble. Uh, I need to take that stuff so I can scan it. Uh, we don't need rope. Get out of my inventory. Sap. We'll probably keep sap. Sap is good stuff. Uh, this single plant fiber. And then I hear what sound like ant sounds. Milk. It's a higher tier tool. Oh, those, uh, those burn out real fast on you, don't they? We'll stick with regular torches. Can't see. Um, I should probably not craft while I'm in the water. Room. That's probably a bad idea. The thing about this is probably, it can probably go under water, whereas the other torch can't. That looks like a thing, but it's not. Alright. Now that I'm down here, am I stuck down here? I'd very much like to not be stuck down here. It looks like I can almost make that. Well, I guess we gotta go out the way we're not familiar with, so let's get on with it then. Yeah, these little um, slime mold torches do not last very long.
is a big ant? Oh, he's so angry. Are you sure there's no way out of here? Over here? See, there's almost like a way that I can walk if I can get on top of this. Lurking around out here. This it, this is a dead end. Angry, angry bugs. Ah, this is the other side of that tooth. I see. Also, why are there teeth laying around? All right, cool. We're back. We're good. We're back. All right, back out. A lot of nothing. Uh, there was that room up here. Yeah, this is still unpowered, though. Huh? <laughs> Spoiled meat slurry. Uh, really, I can't research those stones. Brittle marble. Invalid object. Huh. Not have suspected that. Okay. Well. Whatever, I guess. Alright, so our inventory is extremely full. Um, I don't I eat this normally. And I mean, this is probably what bottled water is. Do you have anything what else to say? What would Doctor Tony do? It is quite late, young human. Should you not be, how can I help you today? Fare thee well. Yes. Have to keep things clean, there's experimentation to be done. All right, so building a base around here probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Wow, it is dark outside. We would have to deal with the the garden spider that came around here. But it is an idea. We'll go check out that little pond in the morning. Um, I need to take a quick break anyway, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And it's sort of light out. I hear something skittering around. So a widow. What's stepping so loudly? Let's just get on top here. Let's see. Uh. 
Yeah, I mean, starting a little base over here is not a bad idea. I don't mind it. How are the resources? Uh, oh, there's that spider. Huh, somehow didn't see me. It looks like he's walking on a patrol path almost. I wonder if it's actually that or if their paths are just random. Look. I need to find somewhere that's got good resources. Is that the spider moving those? Let's be. Armed raspberry punch. Punch all. Cat tail. Rose bushes. the whole backyard so if we build somewhere kind of central maybe on the tip of this pond here so that way we're kind of close to everything or if we you know if we find some nice place to go some nice resources around we'll do oh i need to kill those things Check out that can second. What the is I see some spider web. There's a little spider over there. Flower petal. These are certainly good for something. Okay, we got a little guard. All right, why don't we, why don't we see? Hey, you. Oh! Oh, I do not like the noises it makes. Okay, one, two, pause, three. I'm dying. Is that a perfect block? Okay. It hits way further out than you think it does. Time to go. How long is it gonna chase me for? Not too far. Okay, oh, you can slot the bandages on real quick. Okay. Nice. That tastes surprisingly not terrible all right cool so now we're back to needing food so it's a good thing that we have those 
Uh, yeah, that food was a big boost in health. Okay, sounds good. Now we know. Uh, and we did get a smithy, so we should actually probably just head back, try to make some better stuff, and then I'm gonna take all, all these things. Do I have room? I have six, seven, eight, nine. And fibers. Alright. Good enough for now. That bandage that bandage is a looks like a low but pretty lengthy heal over time. That's where the wolf spiders are. Hey, debug. <laughs> eh, you don't care about me, though. Nothing like a little violence to quench your thirst. Makes sense to me. Lemon Crime Puncho, that's what you were talking about. Hmm. Fallen leaves. Is this a thing? Just a little in kind of tunnel. Right. Here's one of the laser receivers. Spider over there. Taking a look at the new one found. stuff for this though. Do I want to drop anything? Pebbles? Sure, pebbles pebbles are easy to find. That might fuzz while easy to get, you're probably gonna need a ton of it. Not as easy I mean, it's harder to get than pebbles, so it's that. Okay, I see some webbing over there, so let's back off. I'm starting to get my bearings a little bit. And from here, yeah, there's our little, little starter base. Building over by the oak tree is probably a good idea. And, uh, anything to analyze? Yes, flower petals. Fairy chair. Bounce web. Hello, powerless ant. I wouldn't say powerless ant. Alright, let's see what we can do here. smithing station. We need four ropes, but otherwise we have the marble shards, we have the brittle quartz shards, and the sap. So all we need to make is some rope.
smithing station. Done. Tablet hammer. Level zero. Okay. Select two brittle whetstones. I see. Okay. Are they all the same? Looks like it. Brittle plating. Alright, so how do we make brittle whetstones then? With brittle quartz shards. Brittle material used to upgrade weapons. Tight shards. Okay, so we probably find that in the ant cave. Rub hide. Um. Rub vest. Max stamina. Medium armor. We do that for some resistance. Hope this is enough to keep me safe. Me too. Um, I could upgrade my axe. I might do that. Since I have the quartzite. I don't know if quartzite is used for anything else. Juice. Boost your max stamina. Might loaf. <laughs> A mysterious and mysterious? A mysterious chewy lump topped with fuzzy glaze, satisfying enough to be considered a meal. Plus attack stamina. Meal well fed. Nachos. Fall defense. Okay, so there is fall damage. What have you killed so far? Um, just the regular stuff. I fought a spider for a little bit, but then I had to run away. Because he was kicking my ass. I haven't quite figured it out yet. Um. Yeah, let's make some wet stones. Here, upgrade our axe. There we go. Now we need four for the next upgrade. I took my sweet ass time getting through the motions and gradually killing harder bugs. Very scared. Yeah. Usually I play these games pretty, um, uh, cautious. So far, though, it hasn't been too bad. Right, let's take this off. I'm gonna have to move soon. Spoiled meat. Okay. I need to get more grub hide, so that's going to be our priority, I think. Let's go ahead and cook this stuff here. Like fuzz, nat fuzz. Um, I haven't checked to see if you can burn things yet. I have a bunch of that. Um, I have enough nat fuzz to make a bow now. I just don't know how to get arrows. Need to make more storage boxes. to 
get my canteen back up to full. I could be doing quests too, but nah. Oh, it's fine. Then I need a water droplet for me. I wonder why the baseball is a landmark. Just to be a landmark? Right. I wonder if the, there's something around here. Because this is also marked, the station. So. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, well, it shows that it's upgraded now. Cool. Come here, you. That's not so bad. Science. Scientists make this look harder than it is. Um, husky weed. All right. We need an upgrade. We need a higher tier tool. So, hmm. armless James, I have a question for you. I see that you can upgrade weapons, but are there better materials? Like, better w weapons made out of different materials. <laughs> like, this is an axe, like a stone axe, but is there, like, a like a metal axe I can make later, for example? Just a yes or no is fine. Just so I know what's going on. Looks like this is another anthill. There are better tier tools. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. That's what I was thinking. I like that you can upgrade each individual item, though. It's cool. Um, now, that guy with the mandibles, yeah, he's gonna be pissed off. Boop, boop. Uh, two of them, huh? I don't really want to fight two at the same time. Their attack range is so much longer than I think it's gonna be. Attacks are so weird. Chomp. Ow. Ow. Get wrecked. If it were just one, I wouldn't uh, mind so much. really lay into him then. Uh, why don't we hit another bandage? That heal over time. I could eat too, but we'll see how well that does. Um, regular ant? No. Fighter ant. Uh, did I get some mandibles from those guys? Did. Okay. So I got a red ant part and red ant mandibles for those. Learning. I'd advise upgrading weapons if you're hitting a wall and struggling. Yeah. Yeah, I won't save my materials too much. Um, better to, to use it. I, I'm usually a hoarder, and I'll just save and save and save, and then never use them at all. But uh, I'm, I'm going to try to fight the urge this, this game. Just use stuff as I have it. Yeah, here's this, these mints. How do I get into this box? That. Ah! 
Bust him, huh? Really? A higher tool? Alright. That's a little surprising, but okay. It's a mint. <laughs> Pretty sure if I smash a mint with a rock, it's gonna be... Oh, you know. That's fine. There's some raw science down there. Hey, they're pretty uh, generous with the breath meter. That's good. Yeah, and our health is all, uh, almost all the way up now. Okay, so those bandages work pretty good. They're just it just takes a little bit of time. Mr. Ant, you're stuck. I can get you unstuck. I'm not sure if you're gonna like how. Okay, finally, that got clear. Receive a super chip for Burgle. Find the Hedge Lab. That was at 16.55. I need grubs or hide. So let's go towards the oak tree. Oh, we still got the light. Spider over there somewhere. There's a grub. A couple grubs, looks like. perfect time to have like a, a spider patrolling or something and just like run into you while you're doing this. You're just like peacefully looking for grubs, yada yada yada, you know, having a good time. Oh, this game's so peaceful. And then very suddenly acid gland. Is that, did I get that from the mandible? Okay, so we'll head back. Um, we got eight now, so that might be the other two pieces of our armor. So I think the bigger piece only required uh, four. Grab this since it's here. Oh, the yeah. exact opposite direction. I'm so glad that they gave you a map. I do wish there was a mini map. Um, but I'm not sure. I guess I'm not sure how useful it would be. The map doesn't seem super detailed or anything. Just landmarks, basically. Trail markers equal minimap. Oh, no shit. Oh. Fair enough. Man, this game thought of everything. I like it. Hello, Mr. Ant. Let's see what we got. Workers comp. <laughs> Red soldier head mount. They're super helpful. Okay, sounds good. 
Let's see what acid gland gets us. Bulg rubber. And that's it. I thought there was another item. I thought I had three. I guess it was this though. I saw this red. Okay. It looks so fun. Yeah, I know. Bug rubber. Oh, uh, we can make it. A handcrafted sludge of sap. Carefully milked acid gland that hardened into a makeshift rubber material. Used in bounce web. So if we make this, we might be able to um, scan it and see what is available to us. Let's see. If I craft this. Oh, I need I need a grinder. That's why I haven't done this yet. I should have uh, done this for a whetstone. My bad. All right, so we can make our might hat. Oh, our, the might hat takes a lot. But we'll probably make that one instead of the goggles because this is max stamina, but this is better stamina efficiency, which seems more better. Let's do that. And then we need to make the legs, which we need one more rope bed for. Of course we do, it's just one. Putting on some more armor. Uh, oh. I need to make more storage units. Overleaf screw. It's like nighttime. Everything turned green, so now it's nighttime. Uh, have you analyzed grass and stem planks yet? Yes. That's something the game won't tell you. Yeah, yeah, I, I believe I did. Thanks for the heads up, though. Uh, this can just get out. You just, just drop it. It's, it's awful, and I hate it. Um, put that all away. Sounds good. Then we're gonna take these out. I need some more, so I need to grab some of this uh, quick. I also need to make another torch, because it's dark as hell. Another storage unit. Oh, you can, you can just smash them right in there, huh? Alright, uh, good to know. I need rope. Three. Let's get this a little organized, huh? Let's make this one our, even though we're gonna move soon. Why can't I drag? It keeps, it keeps not wanting to drag. I wonder if there's something going on with the mouse.
edible morsels. Um, this grub sludge was used for smoothies, so I declare it will. Raw meat here. Oops. All right, cool. Uh, now we have, we'll take the greens out. Uh, turns out we probably don't need three spears, but I'll keep them on me anyway. Uh, flower petal. This can go into this. Alright, this is looking a lot better now. I don't know why I can't drag things. This is bothering me a lot. It's like emergency food. Um. We'll have two foods on us. It's fine. When you get enough storage to separate stuff. Oh, you can add icons to chests and color them. Super good for OCD. Spears throw. Damage is crazy. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Uh, what time is it? It is 23.01. Perfect time to sleep. Okay, so I actually want to wake up at around 6, if possible. So 22, like I had said. I just missed my, my deadline. Um, I am thirsting and starving. Perfect. Hmm. I'd eat this normally. Okay, that one's gonna be good for now. Grab this one out. This stuff doesn't go bad, so we're gonna keep that. Uh, that's got a ways to go yet, so... If we keep it raw, and then we cook it before it turns raw, then the timer goes all the way back up. So that will really extend our time, how much stuff we have. At least it's clean. Ish. In the future updates, um... Drops the sleep feature will let you wait until light instead of making you calculate the hours. That would be extra nice. I just thought that was like a, you know, it's just like a main feature of the game. Where's my axe? I must have put it in a box on accident. Or I dropped it. I threw it. Okay. Um. We need grubs. Is what we need. better armors. I'll grab some of these clovers too. These clovers uh, leaves are super helpful. Uh, 
angry ant? What are you doing so far away from your home? Whatever. Fine. As long as you don't come attack me. Um... You're a regular worker. Yeah, look at... Why are you Step over along, here? Yeah, he really has it out for that... That weevil. Oh, now he's eating them. Nice sneak up on him. No, that's just a regular one. Although he did eat it. if I can use that to my advantage somehow. Like if I lure ants or spiders into each other, will they will they duke it out? Or will they just both try to attack? <laughs> yeah, mushrooms, weevils. Where are the grubs at? Seems like grubs maybe take a little longer spawn. Unless, since the meat was there, it still counted as, like, being there. See webs over there? In cautious. See any movement? Looks like a little something. Oh, I never did make my torch either. Oops. Oh, okay, that probably leads into the ants, ant hills. What is this thing and can I interact with it? It's like... Are they still in there? Yes, although they have moved. I wonder if they come out at night or something. Them here. Ah! Grab some acorns. I could also make some heavy armor, although um, that thing that's a major threat makes me think that everything's gonna attack me. Not a one shot, huh? Nice. I mean, this is probably what bottled water is. All right. Uh, not much for grubs, though. I guess I dug them all up in this area. We needed like a couple of days to come back or something.
heard more. Just didn't see them. Alright, Nito. Probably explore one of those anthills. I found the brittle quartzite down there in one of them. Well, that one next to uh, an analyzer probably has some brittle quartzite in here, doesn't it? I'll bet. Those aphids look like they have things to do and people to see. Yeah. All right, so we're about to be medium armored up. Feel a lot more comfortable roaming around. Another aphid. It's gone. Uh, I didn't pick up anything new, right? Oh. Okay, let's make our leggings. Hope this is enough to keep me safe. See, I've already got some overflow. <laughs> That's been gathering everything. I guess, um, in here, because we got room for nothing else, so it'll just be overflow, I guess. Yeah, we already need more storage. <laughs> Alright. But I think that might do it for today. Uh, this game is great. I love it. Um, next time, which I don't know, it might be Tuesday. It might be I might do a stream tomorrow. I don't know yet. Um, since we had to miss yesterday because of my stupid ISP messing everything up. Um, but I'll look into the multiplayer of this game. Maybe you know I wouldn't mind starting over if we're gonna, if we can get into multiplayer and people can drop in and out or whatever. Uh, and then we need to build a new base too. And I think up here, maybe along this way, but, you know, we can find a spot somewhere around here to build a base. A little more permanent, 